Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. Uh, in this video, we're just gonna talk about how to debug Apex code. So in one of our previous videos, we we created some code for creating a task. Um, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. So I'm just gonna go into the dev console. And from here, let's open up that Apex class that we created. I think it was something like create, yeah, create task. So we've got some code here for creating a new task and then we just execute this from the anonymous window. Uh, let me just remove all of this stuff. So I'm just gonna put in the class name and a method name plus our three parameters. So let's just go account ID, subject and the date all right so, it's, so let's just put in string subject equals apex created task id acc id equals acc id and then let's go the date, oh shit, date, the date equals date dot today. Um, and then let's maybe just add a few days again. So let's go add days, let's add two days to this one. All right, so that's gonna be a due date. All right, perfect. So that's all we need from this. So let's go to accounts and um, we'll use a different one. Let's use um, United Oil and Gas. So we don't have any tasks here, which is great. So I'm just gonna copy the ID from there quick and put it in there. So now if I execute this, we're gonna get our first task created. So let me re refresh this part. All right, perfect. So we've got our task here, okay. So if we go, if we go into the logs, if we open up the logs, um, Sorry, not this one. So you can actually see the size on the right. So you can see which one will have more data in it. So this one's definitely the one we're trying to find. So if we scroll down the logs, you'll see everything that's happening. So we can see the account ID value. We can see the due date value um, and a whole lot of other stuff. Okay, so basically from here, what we can do is if I go back to my task and I put in system.debug a uh, new task plus copy that and put that in there. This will give us a debug of our task. So let me go back into anonymous window. Let's just maybe call this something else now. System D, a couple of those things. All right, sweet. And maybe inside of this, let's just make that look a little bit better and then hit execute. All right, perfect. So now we're inside of this. Um, you can see it's updated there. Let's just go back to Salesforce. All right, so we've got our second task there, which is pretty cool. Then from here, what we want to do is let's go to debug only. And perfect. So you can see our debug log here. So it shows a new task, what ID, activity date, and ID. So those are all the values that we've got. So if we go back to, back to our code and you want to find just one of those values, um, we could always just go system.debug, let's call this one. Let's say we're trying, trying to find out if the activity date is has a value in it. So we can just go activity date value. And then inside of this, we just grab the new task dot activity date. All right, save that and go back to debug log. Um, let's just run it again. So we're gonna execute this one, or maybe let's call this one number two. All right, so let's just go back here quick, just make sure that it worked. Perfect, so we've got a second one there as well. Um, so from here, we're gonna go to debug log. All right, perfect, so now you can see I've got activity date value, which is this. So yeah, that's pretty much how you can debug 
uh, Apex code and yeah, you can debug it based on the entire task that you're inserting or all the values inside of it. And if you wanna add more values to it, you can debug those as well. If you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks.